In the previous tutorials, we have talked about how to build models for this render. Now it's time to uh, add in materials for name. Uh, here we have five materials for the structures, for the wooden steps, for the gravel and the water, and the handrail. In the beginning, I want to introduce two a website which may be uh, quite useful to uh, beginners. One is verymaterials.de. There are numerous materials here, and you can search what you want and download it and import it into 3ds Max. It could save us quite a lot of time. If you want to uh, just have a quick setting of material. And the other website is called uh, textures.com. It offers us uh, quite a lot of map, map center textures. And most of them are free to download. You can create an account and log in to download. The median size is um, quite enough for daily rendering. There are, uh, here are three most common used channels for material. They are diffuse, reflection, and bump. We usually link a bitmap uh, from what we have downloaded to these three, uh, three channels. The value for for the uh, IOR of water should be 1.333. Uh, is this is the uh, uh, value in the real world for the water? And uh, since we want to uh, create something like a reflection on ripple, so um, a map called noise is necessary. For the water material, and the final material is called is for metal, uh, for the handrail. So, and uh, there are four types in PR, BRDF. Uh, the first one, foam is for plastic material, and brain is for most uh, common general material, and the wall is for jerk-like materials. And the last one is for metal. So you can find more information on the website uh, of Chaos Group.